Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Apubo Rama, and in today's video, we are going to be breaking into a huge glitch for the Salvage Yard. As many of us know, the Salvage Yard is a decent business, but it's limited by one major factor, and that is the fact that you have to wait an entire week before you are able to start missions for this property once again. That absolutely sucks. Like, who wants to wait an entire week to do missions again? Well, the glitch I'll be showcasing today's video completely skips all of the missions for the setups when it comes to stealing cars and allows you to keep the cars over and over and over. So you can literally earn $300,000 in around 10 minutes of work just by simply repeating the glitches. And that is absolutely huge and is going to allow you to earn millions and millions of dollars. This is easily one of the best ways to earn money in the game. But this one is super simple and I don't even feel bad about it because as I said, Rockstar basically screwed the entire player base anyway Way with not allowing the salvage yard to be able to complete missions over and over. So as you can see, we are currently completing the, I, I think this is the Tony robbery. I don't know exactly which one this is, but we're going to go grab our car. And I'm not going to put really any cuts in the video once we start delivering the vehicle, because sometimes, you know, people might think, oh, I'm not being honest and I'm showing the glitch, but it's actually not real. So I'm going to be showcasing this glitch from start to finish how it works. That way, you know that there's no editing or cheating here. It's very easy to do. So we're obviously going to cut through this door here and we'll have our vehicle available as soon as we open it up. One thing I do need to do, I think we have to get to the control room. I actually really like this car as well. Too bad we can't keep it this week because, man, the Coquette D10 is such a sexy car. So we got to go over here and activate the landing pad, which just takes a moment and activating the pad and then we are able to finally grab our car and bring it to the surface i'll be honest this is one of the more tedious missions to complete it will take a bit of time so it might be better to use the buffalo uh what is it the buffalo stx or i think it's the buffalo stx you can use for a mission as well might be a bit of an easier choice to complete but i do know that the coquette's worth a bit more money so that's why i chose to use this vehicle now if you're playing on pc or console there is a slight different way to use this glitch you see when we get to the delivery point of this car what we're going to do is we are going to simply quit our game as we're delivering it and what it's going to do is it's going to deliver the crates but it's also going to act like we didn't complete the mission and allow us to do it again or not crates, sorry the car so it's very easy to actually do this and as I said, the thing that you're going to have to worry about is whether you're on console or PC, you do have to, oh my god, that cop car's gone. But you are going to have to do a different method. So if you're on console, I'm on PC, if you're on console, uh, you can see a little clip in front of me. You're going to just close your game when, you, when we get to the location and you'll see what to do. You're just going to press the start button or whatever, and you're going to press exit game, and that's all you're going to do. If you're on PC... The task is a little bit more demanding. What you're going to have to do is actually force quit your game. I actually tried doing it without force quitting my game, and unfortunately for me, I have to restart the entire job. So I actually did deliver my Buffalo STX and already sold it and had to wait another 10 minutes to start up another robbery. And that's because of the fact, um, as I said, I messed it up. I thought you could just press, press start, go to online, and leave the game. You cannot do that on PC. So you're actually going to have to load up Task Manager and force quit your game, which is obviously going to take a little bit more effort. But what I've done is I have Task Manager open on my second monitor. So all I need to do is exit out of the game, and I can uh, close it the moment we're done. So I'm going to try and lose the cops here and then I'll be back in a moment. 12 seconds later. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit sus making my way down here, but we were able to lose the cops at least, so we're all good, and I should just be able to drive my car up this little dip here. Okay, and we're fine, man. That was a little sus. I really thought my car was gonna go right into the ocean, but uh, okay, we're all good. So I'm gonna drive another 3.6 miles, and we'll get over to the salvage yard. Okay, we're at the salvage yard. Uh, my car took a teeny bit more damage, unfortunate, but it's not going to matter. So once you make it to the salvage yard, this is the part of the glitch that you really need to pay attention for. So as I said, if you're on console, what you're going to do is you're going to just close your game when we make it to the circle. So here we are. Oh, let me get around my vehicles. So we can see in front of me, we have this yellow circle. And when we drive into that, it's obviously going to count that we have finished the mission. 
But to counteract this, when we drive into the circle, when the car is about halfway into the garage, I'm going to exit off game. And I'm going to force quit it and you're going to see a black screen. So we're going to do that right now. So I'm just going to go in. We can see the animation and now I'm going to exit game and I'm going to press end task. Doing this is going to close my GTA and it's closed. So <laughs> my game's fully over and uh, I'm going to launch the game again. We can actually, uh, yeah. So let, let me let me launch GTA again. You're just going to be looking at a black screen. All right, we're finally loaded back into Grand Theft Auto. And what we're going to do is we are just going to go into an invite only lobby. And when we are in an invite only lobby, if everything was done correctly, we should have the coquette in our salvage yard and it should allow us to literally start the finale of the mission that we just completed. And that's going to allow us once again to put another car in our salvage yard and then do the mission once again if we keep rinsing and repeating. And you can see how this is kind of overpowered. So we're gonna find out the moment of truth. Does this glitch actually work or will I have to scrap the video? And there's the car. So that part's done. And if we make our way over to the job board, there you go. We can see indeed it does work. So if we register as a boss really quickly and we hop onto the planning wall, it is going to let me start the robbery once again. And we can see that. So you can just keep doing this over and over and over. Normally that would have been the last mission of the week. You can see we've completed the other two and it would have been over, but it's so easy to do this. And again, I can just sell this car right now. I can sell it for $395,000. So we can earn 400 grand selling this vehicle and completing that mission from start to finish took me about what, 15 minutes? So that's literally millions of dollars an hour. And these are super easy to complete, bro. Really, the car just drives right into me. Well, uh, we lost a little bit of money on our vehicle there. It's not that big of a deal though. But yeah, this is uh, absolutely insane. And I think for a fact that you guys are going to be able to use and abuse this. So obviously share this video with your friends before Rockstar obviously does end up patching this. However, in the past, we have seen that Rockstar has taken a very long time to patch things like this. The Cluck and Bell farm raid, it took them an entire week or not week, an entire month to patch with, a, with an update. So I can tell you for a fact that this will not be patched for at least I would say a month, and I think you have plenty of time to mess around with it. And not only that, but people are always worried, oh, am I going to get banned for doing this? No, Rockstar's not going to ban you for doing this. I have done many glitches with the Cluck and Bell farm raid, with the Kaya replay glitch in the past on the channel, and I'm still using the exact same account. You will not be banned for using these glitches. It, it just doesn't happen. It's not a worry. If you're using mods, sure, you're going to get banned. But doing one of these glitches, Rockstar has no way to detect that you're doing it, and they're not going to ban you. So that's something you're not going to have to worry about. So as you can see, there you go. We've earned $394,000, and I can start that mission up once again as quickly as I would like and do it all over. You can see why this is absolutely overpowered and crazy for earning money, especially if you do one of the faster missions to complete.